Do you want to take it out for a rip? What's up crew and welcome to today's vlog. We're kind of getting to the day late. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. I just got done putting up my video for the day. Unfortunately, my girlfriend's place does not have Wi-Fi, so we have to go over to her, her aunt's house, and it's just an inconvenience. You need internet. At least if you're a YouTuber, you have to have internet. But now that my video is all set, now we can go do stuff. No, we are not going car shopping or truck shopping, but we are going to Punta Gorda, right? Punta. Pun Punta? Punta. Damn, you getting it wrong every time. Punta Ball, okay, Punta Gorda. That's where we're going. To a uh, farmer's village or fisherman's, fisherman's village? <laughs> I just go with the flow, man. I just tell me where to drive, and that's what I'm good for. I'm not good at remembering names. I'm good at remembering people's names, but not like places. It's just like, yeah, let's go there and have fun. That's, that's all I'm worried about. We're at Scotty's Brew House, right? In Punta Gorda? Punta. Punta Gorda. Punta Gorda. I'm not from Florida, as you can tell. We just want to get some lunch, some late lunch, early dinner. My girlfriend and I are kind of in the mood for some burgers. Great minds think alike. My sunglasses are stuck in my hair. Uh, get them out. That really did hurt really bad. Ow. We just got done eating. I've never time-lapsed eating before, and I wanted to, so I did. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it in the comment section below. Now we gotta pay the bill. I do like their flowers. They're made out of old poppin' beer tabs, which are really cool. I'm gonna have to make some of these. Like, look at the old school Mountain Dew tab. Not only was the food extremely good, but so is the view. Very nice, very beautiful, perfect day. So we were just walking in the fisherman's village like market, is that what you'd call it? And all of a sudden we saw the smoke, so now we're investigating. There's something burning in the distance. We're gonna go investigate. Hopefully it's not my truck. Well, whatever it was, it's out now. The smoke's actually diminishing. All right, so we ate dinner. We investigated a fire. It looked like the fire went out in my opinion. Now we're gonna go shopping. We already did some window shopping. Now we're gonna go shopping for taffy, candy, yeah. candy time. We got the taffy, we got the taffy. I think my favorite color is blue raspberry. What's your guys' favorite taffy flavor? Leave it in the comment section below. Did you like the tiramisu? No, I like fruit punch. Fruit punch? I'm a blue raspberry guy. You're not gonna eat my blue raspberry. You wanna buy it? No, you're not. <laughs> Everybody on YouTube was saying after I went for a ride with Do It With Dan that I was gonna buy a Corvette or I was gonna be on the market for a Corvette. Well, we might be. We might go shopping. Now you guys know me, I don't like to spend a lot, but I do like to, I, I like to buy the best bang for the buck. Whether that's new or used, we'll figure that out in a minute. The 
it's just a really happened street, but I'm looking at that one right there, that red one. What would you do if I bought a Corvette? Would you, would you ride it? Yeah. Here, we'll park right over here for a second. Could you get some Dodges? I don't want no Dodge. No offense to any of you Dodge lovers out there, I'm just, I have my Duramax. Ah, this Dodge is looking pretty sexy though. But you didn't want a Dodge. Yeah, I know, but then I saw this thing and I'm like, oh, that's, that's nice. Let's go check out the vet, baby. I think I think Dan's is a little sharper than this. A little. Th this a one's sharper. this one might have. See, it looked better on the road, but as is no warranty. That's never good. You must have drove it too fast. Yeah, it's got too much power. The paint's chipping. Yeah, that that front end though. It's like that the entire way. There's nothing wrong with the front bumper. It's a bra. Oh, oh really? Yeah, that... see, it's all it's covering. See, I see. You feel the edge here? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I want to buy anything brand new, but I was just checking it out, you know? Yeah, no. You know, young and stupid, so. Well, I... Start young and cheap. Young and cheap. <laughs> I mean, it's only got 50,000 miles, I can play around with it. One of my cards. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, thank there you. you. Go. What's your name? Dalton. Dalton? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Well, for sure, we know where you're at. Well, thank you very much, Kevin. Not a problem. Like en enjoy guys. your night. Too. I'm not taking drive or something. I'll be here Friday and Saturday. Uh, sounds good, Kevin. Yeah, thank, thank you. You, you want to take it out for a rip? Like, right now. I know, but they, he says we can come like the next day or the day after that. The guy was really nice and he offered to let us drive it and everything. They're just closing up for the day. But that was actually a bra. It protects the paint. So you just rip that off and then it's got brand new paint, which I, I've never heard of that. This truck is my first vehicle that I've actually wanted to take care of. Everything before that has just been held together with rust. So I never heard anything like that ever existing. But it makes sense that it does exist. Yeah, it's a 2004 six speed manual. Kevin was his name, said that they're actually selling out. So if we wanted to get a good deal on it, within 10 days, we'd get a good deal. Um, I just don't know how I'd get it to New, New York, you know? I could drive a Duramax. You're gonna, you're gonna drive a Duramax home while I drive the Corvette? I don't know if I like the sounds of that. <laughs> you know what, this is becoming a no very, very quickly. <laughs> That's another truck I would have been interested in buying. The Nissans with the Cummins engines. If I didn't buy this truck, I would have loved to go with one of those. But I still have never bought anything brand new. But yeah, I loved my Nissan and I, and I know Cummins makes a very, very reliable engine. But I have been pretty impressed with my Duramax. She's a good girl, as long as the wheels stay on her. Now to buy something actually in my price range, some Dippin' Dots. If they have Dippin' Dots. You guys know that I'm a big fan of Dippin' Dots. So if we can find some, I'll be a happy, happy camper. No luck. They didn't sell Dippin' Dots. But on a side note, the Duramax does look pretty cute tonight. No Dippin' Dots. I want a Dippin' Dots. No Dippin' Dots? No Dippin' Dots! I'm sorry. Me too. Really wanted Dippin' Dots. Banana Split's my favorite. Do you even remember what gas station you stopped in? I again? do not remember the gas station. That's the first thing I would have seen. Yeah, it's like right down the address and everything, right? <laughs> we just got back to my girlfriend's place. Now she wants to go for a ride on the Motron. See, chicks do dig the Motron.